I'm James and we're going to teach you some tips and tricks on how you can be more productive with Salesforce One on your mobile device. In order to use this feature, you'll need to ensure Salesforce One has the proper access to your mobile device's map features and the account or lead must have an address entered in Salesforce for this to work. So let's go to an account that we're going to meet with today. They should appear under my recent accounts. In this case, it's I'm another test. Once the record opens, I'll scroll down to the address information and you'll see a map pre-populated with the screenshot of the area surrounding the address. By clicking on the address, it will go to my mobile device's native mapping application and plot the address uh, pretty quickly. From here, I can just go through the standard get navigation or get directions to, and now I've got step turn by turn navigation from where I where I my current location to my appointment's address. This feature works best if you're calling on a list of new leads received and the leads have a phone number already populated or entered on their record. So let's go look at our leads tab and find a recent lead. I'm going to click on I'm a test, one that I recently viewed today. And what you'll notice on the bottom of your screen is a phone icon that's uh, turquoise color, which indicates the phone number is already present on the lead, so I don't have to go searching for it. I simply tap the phone icon and my phone will prompt me with do I want to call the phone number directly listed or do I want to go ahead and just log without calling. In this case, I'll go ahead and call the number directly and it'll confirm once again I'm going to call that number and now it uses my mobile device's native phone application. When you're done with the call, Salesforce One will automatically pre-populate a, a form for you to enter uh, with the uh, brief description of the, what the call was about, such as called about planning. And then you can enter any important details, such as left voicemail, and then hit save. And that quickly, you've logged a new task completed in Salesforce One. To quickly capture copies of documents or photos that pertain to the sale, uh, such as the property or merchandise that the family is interested in, you can do this on Salesforce One by going to the lead or account. I'm going to click on Recent Leads. In this case, I'm a test. And when the record loads, at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a brown icon that looks like a piece of paper. What this is going to do is going to prompt you for uh, a photo that you'd like to upload. You can use this photo to take a picture of a document uh, that's important or use one that's already on your phone or take one at the location. So in this case, I'm going to use the latest photo. Now remember, Salesforce One will need access to your mobile device's photo reel. Now I can put some important details about this, such as the family's interested in this layout, and go ahead and hit Save. And now, just like that, this will be uploaded to the record in Salesforce One for you to access in the future at any time. Now this, these attachments can be viewed in the Salesforce One desktop under the Notes and Attachments section. However, if you're on the go and you want to quickly access this information, while you have the lead open, go ahead and tap the Related section and scroll down to the Notes and Attachments. Tapping on that will now allow you to view these photos right from your mobile device quickly and easily 